Hello, myself Dr. Kripa. I'm a fertility specialist who is practicing in Lifeline Hospital based in Kochi, Anado. So today I thought I would tell you all about uh, IVF treatment. When do you know it's time that you will have to resort to IVF treatment? For most couples out there, this, uh, this decision is quite a difficult one because IVF, unlike other treatments in fertility, in infertility, is um, uh, it's more laborious process and definitely it uh, has its own uh, pitfalls. Like it, it uh, has a, a good amount of econom it brings about a good amount of uh, economical burden on the patient. So, um, taking uh, a, a, a IVF as your uh, next step in infertility treatment is quite a big step. So, we really need to know. Uh, when we have to step into this process of IVF because most of the time when patients come to us uh, seeking fertility treatment and we tell them uh, IVF as their first option probably um, uh, these couple would, ha would not have needed IVF uh, treatment a couple of years back so gone uh, were their golden um, era or that time period when these couple did not have to take up IVF treatment. So as the age advances, more chances that, that you will end up being an IVF patient. Uh, a couple who requires IVF treatment. So, um, patient themselves need to know uh, when do I have to stop uh, trying for a minor treatment and get ahead, uh, go ahead with the higher treatment like IVF. Most of the time, even if the specialist, um, uh, the fertility specialist tells the patient also, it takes um, a couple of more. Um, visits for this uh, to uh, for the patient to uh, this news to sink into the patient and the patient to take this big step so i have to tell those couples who are uh, uh, not yet into the practice or, uh, or not yet into the uh, flow, uh, stream of taking a fertility treatment but they are still hesitant to take a treatment i have to urge you not to waste any more time take a help because right now would be your golden time when you might not need an ivf treatment and uh, um, probably uh, a minor treatment or a minor correction would uh, help you to achieve a spontaneous natural pregnancy. But for those couple, especially, I, I have to tell you some uh, red flag signs which has to be looked out for. Okay, for uh, males again, if you find that your semen parameters are dipping or the counts are quite low and you are on uh, some kind of a medication hoping that someday your count will come back to a normal a normalcy or um, uh, uh, it might improve and you have been on a tre treatment for a couple of months together, maybe years together, then you will have to reevaluate again see your semen parameters again is it really improving or is it declining or if required get in touch with your urologist or your fertility specialist do the necessary blood workups to see if the doctor tells you that it looks like it's standing in a plateau fashion it does not improve or decline or it is declining and all the necessary steps are taken probably it's an indication maybe i'll have to switch on to a higher treatment discuss with your fertility specialist probably uh, what if why, why not i take up this big step uh, pro uh, definitely the specialist can guide you in that as well but don't hesitate to take because when your count is in an average uh, manner or when it's below the normal but still good enough to uh, achieve a pregnancy with an ivf or iui do seek help for that okay then coming to the female factors female factors i would say age is the single most important determining factor to know whether you could be a probable candidate for ivf because more than more than 35 years or 40 years if you are taking just ovulation induction it's um, very unlikely that you can have a, a successful pregnancy with that because mo most of the time uh, we feel that these couples they take a longer time to conceive and also even if they conceive they could end up with um, you know, higher chances of abortions so uh, definitely if you have a good ovarian reserve or a good number of or pool of eggs definitely you can go in for ovula uh, ovulation induction because most of the people because uh, this um, infertility treatment has been widely uh, available to most of the couple and most of them have taken some kind of an 
ovulation and induction in some part of their life though so they feel even uh, without a proper consultation to a doctor also even after 35 they go on taking these medications as a routine regime so that is really not advised because these tablets do have a time limit you cannot take it beyond a particular number of cycles and refrain from uh, taking these tablets without a proper medical consultation after the age of 35 this might not be uh, good enough for you maybe you will have to stick on or start um, shifting towards a higher treatment so age as i told you is a very important determining factor then again a low ovarian reserve the doctor says that even if your younger age group but your ovaries are having a tendency to shut down earlier than your same age counterparts definitely you you might also uh, if if base, if not taking treatment in the proper way uh, you might and there's a very good chance that you ca you could also end up being an IVF candidate so uh, age and low ovarian reserve then if you are having tubal diseases and repeated history of ectopic pregnancies um, also there is a, a very good chance that um, uh, uh, your tubes are not functional enough and normal uh, treatment like uh, ovulation induction uh, could fail you and uh, you also can uh, uh, start uh, you also might need an IVF process in the uh, as an end all uh, at, at the end of the treatment so um, uh, I would urge you all who are having such problems to uh, if you are failing with a couple of ovulation inductions or an, a normal uh, attempts in a, a few cycles don't hesitate to take a bigger help because as the age is younger better is your chance of conception because the IVF success rate with a cycle is something like 40 to 50 percent some people even quoted below that something like 30 to 40 percent day so in the more number of eggs you get the more is your chance of achieving a pregnancy so uh, it could be done in um, a single attempt or multiple attempts so which attempt you will fall pregnant is really uh, not in your hands or uh, in the hand of your consultant but uh, um, it's a joint effort I must say so uh, the more number of eggs can be achieved if you are uh, uh, shifting to the IVF treatment at an earlier age. So even if you are of an advanced age, uh, don't feel disheartened or uh, don't think it's like the end of treatment. There are other methods of treatment modalities for you as well. But earlier, uh, um, sticking, uh, earlier uh, shifting to IVF treatment is the key and the crux of a successful treatment this is what i have to uh, tell to all the patients so uh, as the age advances so uh, more than 35 years or with a low semen parameter uh, or semen parameters or having a recurrent a history of tubal factors or multiple abdominal surgeries uh, or endometriosis uh, endometriosis people with low ovarian reserves and all uh, go ahead with a few uh, well uh, supervised ovulation induction treatment not just what you have at home uh, and um, uh, hoping that you have achieved a ovulation and try not like that uh, you have to visit a consultant have a supervised ovulation induction make sure that you ovulate it and make sure that uh, you, know, you had an effective intercourse that the sperms have uh, 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 sperms are there and the count is good enough or else do an IUI to make sure that the sperms are uh, put inside and it, with such attempts and if you're not achieving a uh, pregnancy definitely it is uh, probably the time to think about a higher treatment like ICSI or IVF. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you.